Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the ECM WF Extended Model for today's second video. This is the 42 day slash 6 week look for the UK and for Ireland. And I should get on with it for you in a moment. Just say that first video is there. It's our 6 day UK web forecast, weekend forecast and day the 14 day up on the way today. Please like, share and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. And thank you so much for doing that. But guys, well, of it's everyone. Thank you so much, everyone. Right, let's start off with week one mean sea level pressure anomaly taking us through the week starting next week, which will be the 23rd to the 30th of September. And by the way, we're going to get into November with this. Wow, wow, wow. Um, but more about that in a moment. Uh, so for week one, next week, low pressure across the North and West Europe, high pressure in the North Atlantic up towards Iceland, Greenland. And wind could, be, could well be coming in from a north or a north east. It's actually looking cool and unsettled. We'll confirm that in a moment, though. 500 millibar height, very similar. High pressure in the North Atlantic, heading up towards Greenland. Top of low pressure through the north and west of Europe. And the cool side of the jet stream are uh, with that as well. So check this out. Temperature anomalies uh, next week with the uh, EC extended Coming out below average, a cool of an average week predicted there by about 1 to 3 degrees below North Scotland, though, 3 to 6 degrees below average. So I think we say that it is so cold there next week. And also wet as well. Cold, wet week come from last week of September with above average rainfall. <coughs> so sorry, everyone. That's particularly so <coughs> in more southern and eastern parts of the country. Right, week two will be the 30th of September to the 7th of October. So, still looking quite unsettled in this week with plenty of low pressure in the uh, North Atlantic, some higher pressure down across southern parts of Europe. Perhaps 500 millibar heights look like that with below average heights across the North and West Europe, above average heights down across southern Europe. And, uh, looks just generally quite westy there. We should see a recovery of the temperature, I think. Actually, still a little bit below average. Not quite as much as week one, but nevertheless, still coming out slightly uh, cooler than normal. Um, precipitation wise, uh, it remains unsettled. I should expect with low pressure in control. So, a wet opening to October being forecast there. Right, week three will be the 7th to the 14th of October. And a bit of a change this week. Low pressure perhaps more towards the south and the east of the UK and Ireland. It doesn't really show. There could be some sort of a ridge around here, maybe. Uh, what about 500 millibar heights? How's that looking? No, oh, yeah. Looks like we've got a mid-Atlantic ridge going on there. Uh, some above average heights through the Atlantic up towards Greenland and Iceland. Trough in over Scandinavia. And again, that could well pull down like some cooler air from the north there. So the temperature anomaly still a little bit below average. Goodness gracious, quite a pro prolonged cool spell setting up here. So uh, slightly below average temperatures. And uh, rainfall wise, so it's going drier than average to the north and northwest, but still wetter than average to the south, to the southeast. Right, so week four will be the 14th to the 21st of October. Here we go. Oh, oh, now a bit of a change here. We've got some high pressure appearing then across the uh, west of Europe. That might be quite a cold ridge, but I'll have a look in a moment with the uh, temperature anomaly. 500 millibar heights um, showing above average heights through the Atlantic into the uh, western portion of Europe as well. So temperature anomalies are starting to lift up a little bit, but more particularly out to our west, but maybe becoming a little bit uh, milder or less chilly through that week. And with high pressure building up from the um, Atlantic, it looks like we're going a little bit drier than average as well, as you'd expect under an area of high pressure and anticyclone. <coughs> So sorry, what's going on? Week five, people twenty first, twenty eighth of October. Oh, now this looks all very mysterious. So let's just put in a question mark. Nothing particularly useful can be a gleam from that one. Five hundred millibar heights also looking quite mysterious. There's some high pressure down here. That's the Azores high, of course, and a block up here. But what's going on in this big white area? Again, can put in 
couple of question marks. Putting three question marks. Three. Why not? Okay, temperature anomalies then. Or uh, week five. No better than average. Possibly uh, with no signals. So not a particularly um, strong signal for any notably warm weather to come over the uh, next few weeks, is there? And temperature anomalies look like that. So slightly driving average just to our northwest. Uh, precipitation anomalies, I should say. Um, slightly driving average just to our northwest and went to the average to our east. Very weak signal. Right, week six will be the 28th of October, 4th of November. Let's have a look. And uh, we've got some high pressure starting to build to the south then. So Spain and into France. Um, that's going to try and bring up a mild west-southwesterly flow into the west of Europe. 500 millibar heights looking like that. So again, we've got high pressure through here, down here, and that will be trying to uh, pull the wind in from a milder west or southwesterly direction for the start of November. Tension on its own, not really picking up uh, a great deal, so no particular signal. Uh, and temptation anomalies finally, again, no particular signal. I reckon by the time you have about week four, probably week five, it's all getting very mysterious. So, um, you know, late October into November, it's all up for grabs. But certainly the rest of September and the first half of October shaping up to be rather cool and wet here. I think so. Uh, an unsettled, cold and wet start to October, maybe. Maybe just a snapshot of what Molly is showing. It could look a bit different when we look at it again next week. On Wednesday, of course, we'll do the extended dropping out with this model. And then uh, next Friday, actually, will be um, when we do the EC and when we do the uh, UK and Ireland focus uh, video with this uh, EC model. Right, we're going to be back a little bit later on with your uh, weekend forecast and with Jan Vorty there. Come back back later for this one, though. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Thanks show to eShamDF.int for private chart data, by the way. Thanks for showing And we'll end it there. Um, no, we'll see you a little bit later on. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.